Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Yeah, you can see that I finished actually a project that I finished the uh, the whole set. So if you just want to see the whole set, just jump to the end of the movie, uh, the video. Um, last 10 seconds as usual is the final render uh, for everyone who wants to stay. Um, the first part of this is me actually creating, making the, um, uh, or fixing, fixing up the, the armor. So basically, um, yeah, the first, basically this is a longer video because, um, I put a lot of stuff in there. This is also why the, um, quality is a bit jumpy, um, because, yeah, it's, it's basically really fast forwarded so basically this is like uh, four and a half hours something no wait yeah more like four hours compressed no actually like four and a half hours compressed into um 15 minutes of video um first step was to actually make a um make a chain mail piece that I found fitting and I thought I'd try a, a triangle object and you can see that at, at first I was really meticulously putting those along and, and planning how to how to make this look and uh, the first iteration that I'm working on right there is actually yeah I, I built this by hand basically and uh, try to line this and um, Try to line each single piece. Um, then I decided I'm going to just copy paste um, this um, upwards and also make the uh, model or make make the make the chainmail pieces a bit smaller, so they are actually uh, um, protecting and not just be like a really big net. Um, other than that, yeah, um, so my first idea was actually to just give her a um, chainmail uh, fishnet thingy in a chainmail thing in the front and also on the back. At this point I thought, hey, I can basically just copy paste this down and have this like overlapping itself, which would in decrease the amount of holes there are or decrease the the, the, which increase the number of holes but decrease the size of the holes so next step was then to fix the giant hole in the back and as you can see I started with aligning the uh, chain mail pieces or the, the chain links again and then I copy pasted them up and I had to basically touch up most of them again um, because human body shape and stuff um, and at this point I was already thinking about do I find a quicker solution to this problem and of course I did I deleted everything or the back uh, and I decided to just give her another keep um, so another, another wall basically um, in the uh, back and uh, use the extrusion tool to um, yeah form this around the uh, I could have also I, I thought about yeah include uh, in, in including the the um, base shape of uh, the, the, the the full body suit but I decided I can just do this from scratch this is actually a bit quicker and I think in the end I was actually really quicker doing it like this instead of um, importing the full body suit copying apart, extruding, etc. So yeah, this is basically um, what I think is the faster version. Even though there's a bit of clipping and it's not perfect, in the end, in the render, you won't actually see it that much. Um, since um, with the pose, she is covering up her side anyway. So I left the pose the same uh, as the last time for the render. Uh, I just included the new pieces that I made. 
Um, and yeah, this is... So, so from my point of view, this is kind of functional armor. At least it's it's full plate. At least it's more or less heavy. Um, you can still, of course, hit her at the, uh, at the center of her uh, chest. Um, if you manage to land a blow, this will be hurt, of course. But um, overall, this is relatively... Uh, Full armor. I didn't make a helmet because helmets and hairs are just like a thing. And um, making a helmet that fits one hairstyle usually doesn't fit any other hairstyle. Um, and I want this to be as open as I want this to be as uh, useful as possible with combining with others. So I decided not to do a helmet. So. Second piece that I then did was the leg armor, as you can see. Um, basically, full body suit. I cut away and uh, moved away a lot of the uh, stuff here and basically made this as high to the thigh as possible without being completely overboard. And you can see that I'm also um, import. Uh, yeah, I also have imported the base sole. So I'm, I'm really sorry, uh, actually I'm not, but um, yeah, I, I just couldn't with this giving a reads, even though I know that heals are absolutely nothing good in armor and it's it's not effective and it's not defensive and there's absolutely no use and actually it's a bad idea to have heals when you're fighting. I know all that, I just still wanted her to have heals. So um, I don't know, put the mean co comments in the comment section and tell me how, how bad of an armor designer I am. I don't really care at this point. I'm just happy it worked. So, um, after this short rant, you can see that I copy pasted, first I copy pasted front of the leg and I just thought, hey, I'm going to have this like um, on the front of the leg. So it's basically um, attached to the leg and I have like an armor, like, like a fabric piece under it. Um, but in the end I decided, okay, no. This is not what I wanted in the beginning. I wanted this to be full plate, which covers the body. There's no like parts where, where there's fabric you can hit or where there's um, leather you can hit. So I um, decided to instead copy the whole um, the whole ring around the, um, I wanna say ankle, but it's actually the lower, uh, uh, the shin. And yeah, you can see which uh, some, one problem I encountered every time is whenever I copy paste the the top of one of the crowns or one of the one of the keep thingies um, that um, it is split, it, it diverges, it it uh, goes uh, outwards. And in this case, uh, for some weird reason, um, I even had like a complete split up and, and move up where the where the whole thing just didn't behave as intended so I had to um, remove part of this and rebuild it which I just did so um, yeah this gave me a bit of trouble and say thanks to that um, later when I'm doing the UV map for this I actually had to uh, work the UV map for this in much more detail than I incidentally wanted to, so I had to take a bit more time to actually set it up. But um, overall, I think it really so. So it really looks like I intended to. This is really cool. And um, on another note, what I actually managed to do is um, I'm, I'm starting to work with um, Unreal Engine Five. And I actually managed to import this character into Unreal Engine 5. Um, there's no functionality yet, so I can't remove it. I can't um, make it a playable character or something. Uh, this is something that I will have to do later. So I basically have to do a set of uh, animations like walking and running for, um, for this character and then have them set up in Unreal Engine 5. So... Um, at some point this month there will probably be a video about this. Um, I don't know, the live stream I plan to do on the end of the month. I will do a... Um, I'll, I'll put up an announcement for this 
um, in the next week. So um, I think two to three weeks before this actually starts. And yeah, we'll see. Um, for now, let's go back to the armor. So um, for the leg, I actually thought um, what I do with the knee. So the knee is a, a point where you want to bend, where you, you don't actually want a stable muscle, uh, uh, stable metal, um, because you couldn't bend your knee. So I thought about this, and in the end, this is a fantasy thing. This is a fantasy setting. Um, I'm really sorry. I, I, I cheated here at this point. You can see that the actual um, that the the the, um, the armor is actually just paper thin. It's it's just like a plain instead of a thickened tool, like a, a thickened uh, piece, like the others. Um, yeah, but. Um, for the leg, I just uh, thought, okay, for once I can do this because um, you wouldn't actually see it. Um, the crown is uh, thick again, so so you so the crown is, is normal again, like I usually do. And yeah, I also thought about how are you actually putting this on? Do I make like a, a a seam somewhere where you can see that it opens up? But um, I decided that. Again, this is fantasy, I can do what I want. And um, I, I just wanted this to be really like a an armor that, I don't know, she pr probably has to don and off by magic. Basically just cast and, and it is on and cast and it's off. Uh, there's no clasps, there's nothing to actually, um, I don't know, remove the armor or something. But yeah, this is the uh, second piece finished with all the... Um, with all the UV maps and last but not least was the arm where I had basically similar ideas like okay how do I do the the um, how do I make it so it isn't like just like metal that that folds with the finger and I got the idea to actually create joints which I probably should have or could have done for the leg as well with one big joint for the uh, knee so I could still, in theory, change that, but um, I think I'm okay with how it looks, actually. So yeah, the joints for the arms are really just like, um, I, I took a a, um, a sphere, um, I cut up the, the top and the bottom, and then I put it around the, roughly around the joints of the uh, figure. Um, and I hopefully in the render you can't, uh, if, if I missed the, the joint then in the render you probably won't be able to see it. Um, we'll see, we'll see whenever I maybe animate this uh, character, but uh, actually there's a high chance that this character will make it into the next animation for this month. I am already have like, like an idea what I want to do, um, we'll see about it. Yeah, for the arm, so so basically I thought for the arm, okay, I want to do it a bit differently than the leg. I wanted to have a bit more detail, a bit different detail, but the overall style with the with the castle keep wall thingy I wanted to keep um, as an idea or as, an, as, an, as a theme. So I um, basically did a lot of steps in the same way. You can see this here. So um, the wrist or the... Uh, lower arm got gets gets the keep the upper arm gets another keep where I also had to load in the uh, breast piece or the the, uh, the torso piece to actually check that I'm not overlapping that I'm not like too uh, uh, too clipping too clippy here um, but yeah right now I'm working on the lower arm piece um, um, yeah and I just wanted to make sure that uh, I don't have too much uh, clipping here. And actually I had to load it in twice because I removed it and then I thought, hey, wait, I still have to check something. So um, yeah, sometimes working uh, slower is, is working better. <laughs> yeah, so base idea is the same. We have this keep kind of thing. Um, this keep kind of feel and um, uh, just for sure I wanted to show that uh, I removed the smoothing so you can actually see it how it works and um, I had to reload 
because um, sometimes when you smooth and unsmooth smooth stuff, then the whole um, then you then you lose your contours. Uh, this happens sometimes uh, in hexagon, and just reloading um, will usually fix the problem. Um, so now this video is ed educational as well. Ha! Um, yeah. So um, after I did the whole bolt keeps, I, I thought about or I, I started working on the uh, elbow. So I basically reduced the uh, piece to the elbow piece here. Um, then I copy pasted a few of the areas um, to have similar to the to the um, to the front plate to the to the torso plate. This also has like a, um, a, a, a a movable piece more or less, which is I'm which is what I'm working on right there. And we're actually already almost at the end of the video here because this is one of the last steps that I did. And yeah, uh, this is the making of the whole armor. So the, the topic, the, the theme, the uh, visual style stayed pretty much the same. Um, this is the UV maps for the uh, arm. Yeah, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you have any ideas, any comments, uh, yeah, any anything, leave it in the comments. Other than that, uh, stay healthy. Stay safe, and I hope to see you guys around. Enjoy the render.